Hello you all and welcome to a new video on my channel. So in this video I am going to showcase all the mods that I have in my Sims 3 game. All of the links will be in the description down below and we are going to start with the NROS mods. So these are the NROS mods that I have in my game. I have career, career data school, debug enabler, master controller, master controller cheats and integration, overwatch, porter, portrait panel, saver, story progression, and woohooer. So you will need NRA's career if you want to use custom careers and you will need career data school if you want to play with additional after school activities. Debug enabler is very useful if you install custom counters as package files. Let me show you that in game. So if you are like decorating and you want to place down a counter, this usually happens with like corner pieces. So you will put it there and then when you want to recolor it, it does not work. So yeah, right now I am not able to recolor that. And this is why debug enabler is amazing. So in live mode, you are going to click on the counter that you want to fix. Click on NRAS debug enabler options and then the counter. Then you are going to click object dot dot dot. <laughs> and you are going to click reset textures and then this object. So now we can recolor the counter. So yes, I love this mod. It is definitely a staple. And we have Enra's master controller, of course. I am not going to go in depth on what all these mods do, but yes, when you click on your sim, you can click on Enra's and here you will see the mods that you have. So yeah, with master controller, you can do stuff like edit your sim in CAS, reset your sim. You can also set the skill level and you can do a bunch of stuff with this rename your sim you can also easily change your sims outfit with this mod so yes let me click on formal wear and yes your sim will automatically change i use that feature all the time i love it and yes you can also click on intermediate you can give your sim a career or you can change your sim's relationship with somebody like you can turn i don't know let's just do nick we can make him her friend or something or her husband <laughs> So yeah, this is perfect if you are like adding sims to a town and you just want to easily change their careers or relationships with other sims. I love Master Controller. It is a staple. I always need it in my game. You can also select status and personally you can see where the sim is. So she is currently at home. This is how I always stalk other sims. You can also click on the lot. Here we have master controller. You can like clean the whole lot or repair everything. You can also set the family funds or add a sim to the household. It is amazing. So you will need Enra's master controller and also the cheats add-on for all these options to appear in your game. With master controller, you can also reset the entire town. So yeah, that's the reset everything option and then it will reset all the objects in the town. So yeah, this is a really good thing to do if the game is getting a bit laggy or if sims are getting stuck. It's just good to like do this every couple of sim days. And in CAS, if you have master controller integration, you can right click the three dots over here and then the CAS settings will show up. So I always put the max sliders in CAS on 10,000. So all these sliders will work. I always put multiple accessories and makeup per location on true. And I have slider multiple facial on too. I never really use the compact form anymore. I really like seeing all the swatches in CAS. 
In the CAS settings, you can also allow adult clothing for teenagers. Go to category changes and then click on allow female adult clothes for teenagers and male adult clothes for teenagers. So we are going to set these to true and also the accessories for teens. So now teenage sims can wear all of the adult clothing you have in your game and you can do the same for elders but yeah you will need master controller integration for this when you click on city hall you will also have the enros menu with all the mods so yeah here you can get to the overwatch settings overwatch basically cleans everything up in your save file so yeah as you can see there's a bunch of stuff enabled clean up vehicles clean up inventory all that stuff and at 3 a.m in the game you will get a notification with all the stuff that has been cleaned you can also put this on true, so testing cheats enable true will always be on in the save file. I also have Enra's Porter, and I have a whole separate video on this mod on my channel. So this is the mod that I use to move my sims to a new world, a new save file, and keep the whole family tree and all the progress, all the relationships. When you click on the house, you can select Porter and pack your whole family but i will leave the link to my tutorial in the description down below i also have enra's portrait panel and you will need this mod if you want to have more than eight sims in your household and then all their pictures will show up here i was about to talk about this mod and it just showed up here so this is enra's saver so every 30 minutes that is the default setting but you can change it, but every 30 minutes a pop-up will appear and then you can save your game. Another mod that is super helpful because this game just likes to crash and sometimes we forget to save so yeah and raw saver will remind you to save your game and when you click on city hall you can also go to saver and you can change the minutes between saves so yeah default setting is 30 but you can also change it to like 15 minutes or 10 minutes, whatever you prefer. Then we have Enra's story progression. So with this mod, Sims in the town will get married, have babies, all that stuff. I love this mod. It does add lag to the game, but I just really cannot live without it anymore. So yeah, when you go to general options, here you can enable the story progression and you can also adjust the speed. So yeah, the default one is so fast. In like one day, there will be like 10 million new babies. So yeah, I always just put it on snail. Even that setting is already pretty fast. And when you click on all stories, here you can select which notifications you want to see. So I only want notifications about like family members or friends. So I always select blood, enemies, friends, portrait panel, romantic, and spouse. And the next one I have is Enra's Woohooer. So with this mod, you can do Risky Woohoo. So yeah, when you click on Risky and then Species Human, you can change the Risky Baby success rate. So yeah, default setting is on 10, but you can also put it on like 50% or something. I always love doing Risky Woohoo. It just adds drama to the game, you know. So another Enra's mod I have, and this is the last one, is the no fridge shopping mod. So when you click on the fridge and you want to serve some breakfast, we can't make it because we need to go grocery shopping first. So yeah, your sim will have to go to the grocery store first, buy the ingredients, and then you can prepare the meal. I really like this mod because it just adds some realism. Sometimes I also put Enra's Traveler in my game. I only use this mod if I want 
my sims to go on vacation to a different world with this mod you can travel to all the worlds you have in your game but this mod is just kind of glitchy and sometimes causes issues in my game so yeah when i don't need it i always remove it from my game I also sometimes have register in my game. With this mod, you can like get rid of the stray animals and you can also get rid of the annoying paparazzi. This can also help with lag. And there is also Enra's relativity. So with this mod, you can change uh, the speed at which time flows during the course of a sim day. This mod is definitely very useful when you are making a machinima and you don't want the time to go by really fast. So yeah, this mod is also very useful. You can like slow time down if you want, but I only use it when I'm making a machinima. So yeah, that's why I currently don't have it in my game. Those were all of the Enros mods. Now we're going to move on to cast mods. So I have this cast background. I use the white one and it's just a solid color. I really like it. So yeah, this is what it looks like in the game. I use this standstill mod in Kaz. This one is by Chelsea. It's an edit of the one by Chrysalate. And I love this one. I am obsessed with it. I have the S Club EA Eyelash Removal Mod. And yeah, this basically gets rid of the EA eyelashes. And I have the UI Mod Kaz Moles to see more freckles, beauty marks, and wrinkles. So this mod basically changes the layout of the topical details section in CAS. I also have some custom freckles. I will leave the links to that in the description down below as well. I have these nose presets in my game. These are so pretty. I love them. But yes, those are all of the CAS mods that I have in my game. So now we're going to move on to defaults. I have the blush baby default skin in my game and yes it changes how the babies look and i think it makes them look a lot cuter and i have the e skin fresh default skin i just love e skin fresh it's my all-time favorite skin so yes i also have the default version so all the townies will have this skin I have this default replacement for Wildflowers by Omida Pixel, and yeah, this changes how the Wildflowers look, and they look so pretty. So yeah, this is the original, and these are the new ones. They look so cute. I love this mod so much. And by the same creator, also this default replacement for the flowers. This is a replacement for the Give Flowers romantic interaction that comes with Generations. And they just look so pretty. And for cats, I have this uh, default eye replacement. So yeah, there are two versions with this mod. I use the local black cat version. So yeah, these are the perfect eyes, but I use uh, these ones, the local black cat eyes. They just make them look so cute. And I also have this default replacement for the phone. So yeah, this is the iPhone 8 and I use the space gray one. This is what the phone looks like in game. It just looks so much better because the original is so bulky and I hate it. <laughs> So yeah, this just looks a lot better. She has a little iPhone. <laughs> How cute. I have this beautiful loading screen by Simatically. This is just so stunning. And there is a download link on Twitter. The UI mod that I use is a combination of the clean UI, the gray UI, 
and in CAS, it's the UI by Boring Bones. So yes, this is what it looks like in the game. And when we go to options, for example, it looks like this. And this is what it looks like in CAS. So here we posted the fixed version of this UI mod in my Discord server. So come join the Discord if you want to download this UI mod. The download is pinned in the Sims 3 CC channel on my server. Another must-have mod for me is the Dead People Don't Glow mod. So yeah, this mod removes the skin overlay from all vampires in-game so that they will have regular looking skin and their eyes no longer glow. So yeah, with this mod, they won't have that weird green glow. This is the teen neck edit. So when you use adult clothing on male teens, they will have this weird glitch like in their neck but this mod fixes that this mod is a default replacement mod for the teen head which allows it to work with any adult male clothing and yeah you will need master controller to allow adult male clothing to be visible for teens another default replacement that i have is the you are hyper real mod by nectar seller so this is a face and body default replacement and it makes the details pop even more on the skin. So yeah, it makes the sims look more detailed and yes, more visible pores and skin texture, more defined muscles and veins, and also more light reflective and shinier skin. The last default replacement that I have is the slightly altered muscular male mesh mod. So this alters the male torso. Here you can see like the normal EA version and this is what it looks like with the mod. Now we are going to move on to environmental mods. So I have the Frozen inspired lighting mod by Burned Waffles and I have been using this one for years and I am still so obsessed with it. It just makes the game look so bright and it's just so pretty. I have the Milky Way Night Sky by Nilxis. It replaces the original Starfield, adding a view of the Milky Way to the night sky of your game, and it's compatible with any lighting mod that doesn't include a replacement of the Starfield. So yeah, it just makes the stars look so pretty. I also have the Realistic Clouds mod by the same creator and yeah this just changes how the clouds look in the game and yeah they look really pretty this is what the ea clouds look like and then you have the clouds with the mod I also have the Improved Environmental Shadows mod by SimC45. So yes, this improves the outdoor shadows. There are two different versions. I have the dynamic version, but yeah, here you can see some before and afters. I just love the way it looks with this mod, but yeah, there are two versions, darker shadows and dynamic shadows. I have this one. So this is what my game looks like with the environmental mod. So yeah, we have the clouds and look at how bright blue the sky is. I just love it so much. The game looks so much brighter. Also, look at that bright blue water. I love it. I just don't think I will ever change my lighting mod. I am just still so obsessed with the frozen lighting mod. Everything just gets so bright and colorful. Now it's time for like other game mods. So the first one is Gloves Be Gone by Buckley. So with this mod, you don't have to give your Sims gloves for outerwear. This mod is amazing, yes, cause I always hate giving my sims gloves and with this mod you don't have to do that anymore so yes it's perfect 
another mod that is such a staple like i can't live without this mod it's the trades for all ages so yeah this mod will unlock all visible trades for all ages baby through elder i just really don't like that there's only a couple of trades available for babies like they will always get the same trades and that's just kind of boring so yeah with this mod you will unlock all the trades and your sims will just get more different personalities so yes i really love this mod next one is the after school activities mod for kids and teens by missy hissy so yes you will need enra's careers and enra's schools mod for this but we have cheerleading squad, computer club, dance club, gamers club, life skills, and school council. There are actually even more extra activities on this website. So yes, there's also this one, like astronomy, creative writing. That's just really cool. Like you can have more after school activities. Another mod that I always need in my game is the no drift, lower level free cam camera mod. So yes, with this mod, the camera won't drift anymore. So yeah, let me show you what that looks like in game. So when you go in tap mode and you like move the camera up or sideways, it doesn't drift anymore and it's just so much easier to take pictures of your sims. Love this mod so much. I also have the shiftable curtains mod, but this mod only works with curtains from base game and packs up until island paradise so yeah it sadly doesn't work with uh, cc curtains but i use these base game curtains a lot so yeah with this mod you can like shift them up and down and i have the pregnancy controller mod so when you have this mod you can click on a sim you will see pregnancy options and we can get her pregnant so let me just do that so we can see all of the options in here so yeah you can set the pregnancy progress this is what i always use to like see how far along a sim is then i will know when she is about to give birth and you can also display pregnancy information information so you will see how many hours she is pregnant and you can also see the gender of the baby so she is having a boy now <laughs> um also the chance of twins and triplets you can also set the sex of baby and set the chance of multiple birth you can pause the pregnancy start labor now give birth now so yeah that's another mod i always need in my game the next mod is the cigarette mod so in miscellaneous decor you will find this pack of cigarettes let me just put it there and you can put it in your sims inventory and then they can have a smoke so yes this is what it looks like in the game sometimes i just want sims that smoke <laughs> I don't know why. The next mod is the post player mod and you will also find this under miscellaneous decor. So with this mod, you can pose your sims. You will need to download poses and put them in your game, but here you can select poses from a list. So yes, I have a bunch in here and when we click on one, she will do her pose. <laughs> And you can also pose by name. So if you have like the code, you can type that here. So yes, that's basically Pose Player. I also have the Pose Player add-on mod and the download link for this mod is gone, but I will upload it to Simfile Share so you guys can still download it. So when you have Pose Player on a lot, you can click on your Sim and you will see photo shooting. Select pose and pose by name are the same options that come with the normal pose player, but with the add-on mod, you will also have random quick poses. And when you click on this, your sim will do random poses 
from your pose list. So now every three sim minutes, she is going to do a different pose. Sometimes they will just stand there. But yeah, now she is doing a bunch of different poses from the pose list. I have the Better Baker Station mod and this mod basically fixes the Baker Station from The Sims 3 store. So yeah, without this mod, Sims will like reset or stop baking when they are in a low mood. So yeah, this mod will fix that. I also have the CC Loader mod and some mods will require this. For example, the Flower Arranging mod that I will show later. So yes, you can download this here. Another must-have mod, the Faster Garden gardening mod like gardening is just so slow in the sims 3 it takes so much time so yeah this will like speed it up i use the 50 percent faster version and i also have the weddings for inactives mod so with this mod you can like throw weddings for sims that are not in your household so yeah you will need two sims who are engaged they will have to be on the same lot and then you can have them get married and also cut the cake so yeah this mod allows allows us to celebrate weddings for sims we don't control. Now you can ask a sim to say yes if their partner is on the lot and you will see them exchange the rings and become married. The next mod that I want to show you all is OMSP One More Slot Please and you can use this mod to like raise objects and to really clutter up your builds. So let me show you all how it works in game. So you will find OMSP under bookshelves. Here we have it and then you put your object on it. Then you have to press control shift on your keyboard. So press both control and shift at the same time. Then you can click OMSP and then you can click on these options like how much you want to raise it so say i want to put this plant on this bookshelf this bookshelf doesn't have any slots but we can put this plant on it with omsp you will have to use some cheats so you will have to turn move objects on and also disable snapping to slots on alt on so now you can freely drag omsp so we have to raise this a little bit more so we are just going to do this and yes that is the perfect height so now we can put the plant on the bookshelf and when you go back to live mode the omsp will become invisible so yes that's basically how omsp works Another mod that I absolutely love is the Eat Outside Restaurants mod. So with this mod, Sims can eat outside all diners and bistros. You can also choose what your Sims order, you can set custom menus for each restaurant, and you can also assign waiters to restaurants who will take orders and bring Sims their food. So when you click on a restaurant, you will always have the eat outside option. So yes, let's do that. And then we can select what she is going to eat. Let's just do pancakes. So she has her food and she is going to sit at one of the picnic tables and eat. I love this mod so, so much. And I have the professional juice bar mod. So with this mod, your sim can practice making drinks with any bar. So it doesn't have to be the professional bar from late night. So yeah, this mod adds all professional bar interactions and features to regular juice bars. So you can fully make use of the wide selection of them in the catalog. Instead of being restricted to the same two professional professional bars from late night all the time. The next mod is the no more pause map and recording frames. So yeah, this mod basically removes the frame when you like pause the game. This mod, the catalog search mod, 
by Lazy Duchess. It is a blessing. I love this mod so, so much. So yeah, this mod adds a surge button to buy and build mode. It looks through both the catalog name and description of objects. So when you are in a build mode, let's go to like decorations, for example, you will see the surge icon and here you can enter something. So what I always do is like blanket, for example, and now I will see all the blankets that I have in my game. This is so, so useful, and if you want to, like, find some stuff for in a kitchen, I will just search kitchen, and you will find a bunch of stuff in here. Love this mod. I cannot live without it anymore. Another mod that is just so amazing is the Smooth Patch mod, also by Lazy Duchess. This mod makes the game's logic threads run faster, speeding up loading of build by and create a style, smoother UI elements, smoother CAS fixes, CAS music randomly stopping, and can also speed up live mode and loading. It's essentially a general improvement. And I use Smooth page version 1. The reason why I still use version 1 is because of how smooth CAS is. Let me show you all. With version 1 of the smooth page, everything in the clothing category will instantly load. Do you see that? Like, it's just so fast. When you click on a different category, boom, everything is here. You don't have to wait for everything to, like, load. That's always very slow, very laggy. So, yes, version 2 of the Smooth Patch doesn't have this, and this is why I still use version 1, because it's just so fast. Like, everything instantly loads. I love it. I also have the Tutlers can use stairs mod. So yeah, with this mod, Tutlers can basically walk up and down the stairs. This is the Super Hamper mod and it has automatic laundry pickup plus bigger hampers. So yeah, more clothes will fit in the hampers and there will be no like clothing piles on the floors. Next mod is the remove tutorial and beta images to attempt to reduce RAM load. So this mod removes some images, like the images used in the tutorials menu. This will reduce the RAM load by approximately 0.12 GB. Will it have any effect on game performance at all? Probably not, but it's worth trying. Sometimes my game crashes because of the max memory usage issue so yeah, I will take anything that will help with that. This next mod is so amazing, you all. It is the Sims 3 Decorator Tools mod. This is basically like the tool mod in Sims 4, but in Sims 3. With this mod, you can freely move objects around. Chelsea has a whole video on this mod, so I definitely recommend checking that out. I will leave the link in the description down below. So you will have to turn on some cheats, so move objects on and also disable snapping to slots on alt on and when you are in build mode you are going to press shift d on your keyboard and now decorator mode will be enabled so i am going to grab this plant so if i want to put it on the counter somewhere you can press the brackets on your keyboard and you are going to move it up and down again. Now, when you hold Alt on your keyboard, you can freely move it around and it will stay at the same height. So now I can put it like here, for example. This is just such an amazing mod. I highly, highly recommend it. Go check it out. The next mod is the Sim Control Tools mod. And with this mod, you can control sims that are 
not in your household you can do like a soft reset for example and they will stop what they're doing so for example if a sim is leaving and you don't want them to leave you can just do a soft reset and they will stay where they are you can also tell them to come to me so yeah, now she is going to walk to my sim. You can also do call me. There are a bunch of options here. Invite to stay over and like certain interactions. Love this mod. It's definitely very useful. The next mod is similar 90s gameplay core mod. And this mod fixes a bunch of stuff. I mean, look at this whole list. This is everything that it fixes. And this mod actually also enhances EA's story progression. So if you don't want to use Enra's story progression, then you can also use this mod. But yeah, there is a bunch of stuff in here. It just keeps going it fixes a lot of things the next mod is the hospital overhaul mod and this mod introduces new features at the hospital i only really use this mod for the ultrasound scan i don't really use any of the other features i have tried ivf but that completely glitched my game out so yeah that sadly didn't work so yeah i only really use it for the ultrasound scan so when your sim is pregnant she can go to the hospital and get an ultrasound scan and then you will get like a notification it will tell you the gender of the baby i also have the sleep on the couch mod and yes this adds an interaction to the game that lets a sim sleep on the couch until fully rested or until wake up time basically like sleeping on a bed let me show you what it looks like in game so yeah when you click on a couch you will have the sleep here interaction so yes she is going to sleep on the couch and i love this mod because i hate that you can only take naps on the couch and it like barely does anything for their energy so yes now she is just sleeping on the couch this mod helps with lag in isla paradiso so it is the reduce remove lag caused by houseboats houseboats cause major lag and this is because npcs in the game are allowed to move houseboats when they do this it causes lag so yeah, with this mod, NPC sims can no longer move a houseboat. Player sims can still move houseboats without issue. So yes, this mod should help with like lag in Isla Paradiso. Okay, now it's time for one of my favorite mod creators and it's the Sweet Simmer. They have so many amazing mods, especially for like new interactions with toddlers and children. Children. Also, the more pregnancy interactions mod, that is one of my all-time favorites. That mod is the cutest thing ever. So yes, let me show you a couple of mods. We have the functional jungle gym toddler slide. So yes, this will add a slide to the game that the toddlers can play on super cute and also the more baby interactions this one is also one of my favorites like look at how cute that is sims can rock the baby and they can sit with them on the couch and it's just so adorable they can also give the babies a bath in the sink and yes i love it and the more pregnancy interactions mod this is just an amazing mod so when i swim is pregnant they can like rub their belly talk to their belly give it a kiss and sing to it they can also check out their baby bump in the mirror and uh toddlers can also feel the baby bump it's so adorable i love it and let carried toddler feel tummy and also these really cute interactions it's just the best hug tummy oh <laughs> i love it also talk to tummy and listen to tummy for children 
and children can ask where the baby came from all also this interaction is one of my favorites show the pregnancy ultrasounds and yes here sim can also announce the pregnancy and it's just so cute like the interactions are amazing and the pregnant sim can also announce the pregnancy to children and they will have like different reactions like this is the sad version <laughs> It's just amazing. I love it. Wait, other sims can even criticize the pregnancy? I did not know that. Complain about having a new sibling. Insulting version. There's so many interactions I didn't even know about all of these. But yeah, this is just so cool. I love it. And there's also the more Tutler interactions. So yes, this mod adds more interactions for like Tutlers. You can play with them and this is just the cutest thing you can sit and feed your toddler you can feed them anything like also just you know regular food but also like baby food a bottle it's just so cute you can talk to the toddlers cuddle them give them a bath and help them to sleep also this adorable interaction i love it oh look at that stop it's so cute <laughs> And you can also like show random objects to a toddler. It's everything. Wait, dance with toddler? I've never seen this before. Oh my goodness. It's just so cute. This is also definitely a must-have food. Yeah, like here she is feeding him some spaghetti. It's adorable. And a bottle or like a nice sandwich. <laughs> And yeah, the animations are just the cutest. I mean, look at that. I highly, highly recommend this mod. There's also the outdoor activities for toddlers. Look at this one. <laughs> so yeah they can eat food from like a picnic look at all the toddlers sitting together having a very important meeting <laughs> oh it's so cute they can also play on the trampoline look at that damn oh no <laughs> this one fell off oh gosh they can also play on the spring rider like all by themselves and play on the slide practice soccer Look at them, so cute. I also have the pick up toddler from Floor Fixes. So yeah, this basically fixes how adult sims pick up toddlers because it can be so glitchy sometimes. It says, one thing that's been quite annoying about picking up toddlers is that sometimes sims want to go up downstairs or all the way across a room just to pick up a toddler who is already right in front of them. Well, this mod takes that problem away. So yeah, definitely recommend this mod. And the sims can hand over babies and toddlers. This adds some really cute interactions. You can like hand the toddler over and also babies. It's so, so cute. I also have the toddler routing fix. So yes, this mod fixes the issue where walking toddlers would randomly cancel their interaction and then cry for a while. The next mod that I have is toddlers can sit on sims labs. So yeah, this adds more really cute interaction. They can sit with adult sims on couches and they can also sit with children. It's so cute. I mean, look at that. That's so adorable. Aww. <laughs> I love these mods. They are just so cute. And then we have toddlers can catch butterflies and pick flowers. So yes, little toddlers can like pick the wildflowers and they can also catch butterflies and yeah, just such cute interactions. I love it. I also have the children can care for toddlers mod. So yeah, with this mod, children can hold toddlers and they can take care of them. So yeah, they can pick them up, tickle them, toss them in the air, change their outfit and like put them in their cribs. So yes, now like children can help with taking care of the toddlers. And lastly, by the sweet simmer, I have the biggest little mod for toddlers. And this mod also adds new interactions for the toddlers. 
So they can listen to a ghost story, hug an adult or child. They can also use the toilet, splash in a puddle, make a silly face, and yes, a bunch of other cute interaction so yeah here we have some pictures they can play in the toilet toddler shoeing <laughs> they can use the toilet and they can hug children it's very very cute playing in the puddle listening to a ghost story it's so adorable i highly highly recommend the mods by the sweet simmer there's also the functional baby carrier and uh they also released a new mod Yes, the Sim Routine Planner, so I definitely want to check this out soon. Okay, it's time for the last five mods that I want to show you all. So this mod is by Twin Simming, and it's the Attend University Online mod. So this mod allows Sims to work towards completing a university degree on the computer. This mod is just so cool, you can enroll in a degree continue the degree and you can do everything on the computer so you don't have to travel to the uni world you can just do it at home and i really want to play with this mod soon it looks so cool this is another really cool mod it's the sunscreen mod so your sim can go to the grocery store and buy some sunscreen then it will be in your sim's inventory and they can spray themselves with sunscreen so yes i really love this mod they will also get a little moodlet another must-have mod this mod is amazing it's the deep conversations mod so when your sim is talking to another sim uh, these notifications will pop up in the top right corner and you can click on it and respond to the sim and yeah the sim will have like different reactions depending on your response and this mod also makes making friends a lot easier like the relationship will go up faster so i love this mod it definitely has some interesting outcomes sometimes like sometimes sims will catch on fire after like a certain response so yeah <laughs> but i love this mod it's amazing the next mod is the flower arranging mod and this is basically a conversion from the sims 4 and it's so cool it also comes with a new flower arranging skill so yeah that's why you will need the cc loader mod as well for this one to work it's mentioned in here yeah cc loader is uh, required for harvestable flowers and skill books so yeah this mod also comes with like custom harvestable flowers and it's just so cool so yeah this is the flower arranging table and you can make all these bouquets and it's just so fun i love this mod so much the last mod that i want to show you all is the functional washboard and this is another sims 4 conversion so your sims can wash their clothes in this tub and this is just perfect for like cottage core gameplay i really really like this and then when it's done they can move the clothes to the dryer or the clothesline and you can also wash toddlers in the wash tub like look at how cute that is i love it my sim is still sleeping peacefully on this couch but yes those were all of the mods that i wanted to show you all i hope that this video was useful all the links will be in the description down below and if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below i hope you found some new mods for your sim sims 3 game but yes thank you all for watching i love you all so so much and i will talk to you all in my next video okay bye